All right, guys, welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. In the last part, we ended up meeting Augustine as um, Maddie, and we were walking around here, man, and we met someone called Stan. And now we've gone back into the past again. We're in 1980, and we're with Linda again, like young Linda. We're playing as a character called Chris, and there's another character called Jaime. And they were trying to make a film called Murder Mill. And now we have to um, repair the camera because the camera broke. So, yeah, now we've got to pick this up. It's a film reel. Oh, he's got... Wait, Jaime's got... I'm glad weapon. to see you're all having fun. But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take it outside. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film, and we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see. There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. All right. Well, we found the storekeeper. Wonder who she is. Ten to one, she brings us a photo camera. <laughs> or a telescope. Shh. Give her a minute. Let's see. Could it have been in... No, maybe in this one? Yes. Here you are. Look how happy he's running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. Cost giant luck. chainsaw. A very fine item indeed. Ooh. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old possible we could make it work but it's not exactly what we had in mind mm -hmm. uh, how much are you asking for it oh there's a tiny little price tag on it but i seem to have forgotten my reading glasses why don't you take a look uh how much is it 15 bucks that seems reasonable. It feels a little high. I don't want to be a burden to this lady. Let's be appreciative. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. You accepted the storekeeper's price. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Oh. All right, now where are we off to? I have worn many masks <gasps> over the centuries. Augustine? Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. Psychiatric? And now, a new guise. A new timeline. Wait, <gasps> what? No! Chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands. That was August. That was Augustine! ...them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? That was Augustine! Wait, how did she do it? 
Are we back at the manor? Yeah, we're back here. Chapter 4, these walls have eyes. <laughs> Badzi, you okay? Oh, I'm playing Linda? Are you okay, bad dreams? Let's be compassionate. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what Concerned happened you. to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Uh oh. Thousand. Oh. Mad Mel. Feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made linda if they're not fakes yeah yeah what, what and all that stuff you said about it being cursed murderous rages cia interrogation total disassociation with reality because it's so rare only a few people know for sure so is if augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. What happened to it's Jaime and Chris? Right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well... Uh. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? I don't see, see why not. Around, or... you want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> I I want to look around. What are we waiting for? I'm good here. Yeah, what are we waiting for? I want to look around. What are you waiting for? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, now this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm stuck with this guy. Seeing a cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, and not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Tell me about Augustine. How do you know about me? The mill? Tell me about Augustine, yeah. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber. A lead collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. Okay. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. Ooh. Very impressive. Okay. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. 
Hey, Maddie. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. All right. Explore th Can't this deny, place. This place. All right. Would make an incredible film location. Yeah, you'd be right on that. What the hell is this? I That's love your outfit. Tree. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, of course it is. Italian. Annabelle. Is that the? No, that's yeah, not the tree from Shelter yeah. Woods. He's is that? Nah, it's not the tree from Borgo guy. either. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy. I know who also. This guy needs to shut up. I don't like Stan. Super limited. He is a bit annoying. Love edition. <laughs> Who's this guy? But you want to know a secret? Sure. Found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Oh, right. Huh. Now that was a curious sound. Oh. But what? Wait, what's his that? name? I didn't see his name. Archie Ball, Archie Ball, Ma wait, Archie McMillan, that's the trapper's dad. What's he doing in this house? Excuse me. That opens. All right. Can we go upstairs? Ah, uh, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? <gasps> Bonnie? Yeah, it... How did you know that? Linda knew her. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long Tell time it. ago. Tell the a truth, whole yeah. Other lifetime. Her younger brother Jaime was one of my closest friends. What happened? Jaime, I am. Um, I never met him. What I happened to him? Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow, Maddie, that's. It's quite sad. Very touching. You sound like you don't give a shit. I'm sorry I had to go through that. What about yeah, what about you, Stan? And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now that alienated from you. Oh, sorry, Maddie. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. What's your Stan? price? You know what? Gonna have to get back to you on that. I should have. Oh, sorry, Maddie. There was that over there. Is it still? Yeah, it's still open. Oh, I feel bad. I I wanted to know what was up with Stan. Like, what his game was. How did he get hold of the film? All right. What's up here? Oh, what's this? Cool hillbilly wait hillbilly piece, though. yeah it's missing his hammer okay what the no way powerful resemblance in augustine's family that or augustine loves cosplay <laughs> oh my god it's kamina it's fucking it's the artist it's the artist from dead by daylight What's this? The face of evil, the true story of Frank Stone. Trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Sheriff. Oh, wow. <sighs> yeah. That fateful night, I had sent one of my deputies over to check on the things on my first choice. I I'm just skimming through this, so if you, want, you guys want to pause this and read it, go for it. I mean, I'll probably look at all this in my spare time. Wow. There he is. Stone's corpse wasn't even called before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on the hills. 
Potters, Rubinex, you name it. Wait, did he die? Oh, did he survive? Nah, that's that's all. That's all there is. Stones is dead. Okay, yeah, he. I just saw in the book. Yeah, death. He did die. Suspicious that Frank Stone committed his crimes with the help of an accomplice. Yeah, and I know who that accomplice is. I can't believe that the artist is in this bloody house. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's good to see the artist. It looks like it opens with a key. For those wondering, by the way, the artist, yes, she is a killer in Dead by Daylight, and she is one of my favorite killers to play as in the game. I absolutely adore the playing as the artist. I'm going to go back downstairs in that secret room. I want to know what's in there. Sorry, I'm, I'm so flabbergasted by that, by, by seeing the artist. Can we still go back here? Yeah, okay. Don't you dare jump scare. What? Cameras? Why the hell would she... Looks like practically every room in the house. Yeah, why has that one got no signal on it, though? But where's our host? I don't see her in any of the cams. She's got to be in that room where there's, like, no signal. It's got to, she's got to be in there. What's this? A blueprint? What's the blueprint for? Um, Burn override. Stabilizes cattle. Catalog? Is that what that says? Regulator. What the hell is she doing? Augustine has interest in temporal machinery. Okay. Anything else in here? I don't think so, no. All right, let's go. Let's catch up with the others. I feel, you know, I feel bad for Maddie for alienating her like that. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to know Sa Stan's side of the story. I don't think I'm going to get that now. Can we go upstairs again? Augustine has a, uh... Unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. I'm not getting through that. Hmm. Can't go, go through there. Yeah, we might be able to go through this way then. Maybe. Oh. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Hmm. There's something missing in the middle though. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Is that Pop Goes the Weasel right there? Yeah, Pop Goes the Weasel. Talk to Maddie. Okay. I see Pop Goes the Weasel. That's a perk, by the way. A killer perk. In Dead yeah. by Daylight. Now, what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. You okay, Maddie? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. What Who are, are you, you talking, talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. Maddie, what's up? I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like, she really is out there, guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but... Can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. She, she did look intimidating in the garage. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Uh... 
It's not a good idea to dwell on the past. There's something I never told. Yeah, go on, nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. <gasps> we were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. <laughs> and right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. Playing a guitar. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. I hope to see her again Thanks. when we go back to the past. Maddie is grateful hey to hear the memory. What's up? Stan? Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah, there! Right there! I saw that, yeah. Someone out there. Concerned. Serious. Augustine expected something like this. Yeah, go on. Let's be serious about this. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Maddie doesn't appreciate your suspicion. Right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right, so if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. So that's okay, where okay. she's gone. Yeah. Can we just not? Oh, I like how Maddie thinks. Can get through that, including sound, which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. So wait, who is out there? Who is that? Is that like CIA agents? Like he's like Stan said. I take it we're back in the past. Yeah, Chapter Five: The Phantom of C Cedar Steel. Yeah. What's taking them so long? I thought we were um, gonna have a production hi, meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. I've just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Hey, right on time. You got to keep it down. Ah, let's be excited. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I've spent, like, all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. 
I can't take all the credit. I had a little help from my uh, assistant. <sighs> it was nothing. Hey, modesty free zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. Just doing my job. <laughs> Hi, May. Oh, you feel insecure me. about Chris now and that Robert? you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You could earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah. Yeah, totally. All right. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. And Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. Oh, sh People oh God. What was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. What? Subdue, uneasy. Stone's victims were real people. Guess not. I guess not, because we've been told not to go back there. Guess not. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Oh, for God's sake, I made the wrong choice there. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it, especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. OK. And well, we can look around. Yeah. Then talk to Linda. Let's all right. Let's look around. Anything in here? What's this? Tom Hall interview. Okay. Oh, I just got an item. Nice. Here. Why don't you start with these? So we're looking for end of an era. Process. See the mill. We're looking for see the steel mill to permanently close. Secrets of Killer Stone, Stone come to life. It's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found. Oh, we can yet. definitely possible. Our list sure can't get enough Frank Stone. Uh, I see the hill tries to make sense of recent events. To see this steel mill. What stabbing details starting to emerge? Here. Thirty-six-year-old machinist Frank no Stone, who was shot dead by season. police during and the violent no, altercation last Friday. Stone, our own show, Kirsch, is suicides. linking with multiple unsolved disappearances the mill, like, over the last there, three years. Got laid off. Damn. This yeah, it's nothing there. The murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend. These guys need to shut up because I'm trying to read this. Yeah. Articles like this. The mill was in to permanently closed. 1967 is when it closed. Frank. I don't know. It's all. Related. Howard Kizzy. To, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's I'll probably look at all these in my spare time because. Just a hunch. These guys talking is putting me off from reading them. It really is. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. We'll check on air in a sec. What's this? Some of these today too. What's that? Oracle of the Omniverse. The time of the murders, and a little before. Oh, good thinking. It was through the practice land from Jenny's. Okay. Oh God, the hell is all this? Omniverse, far out. Mm, I'll probably look at that at the end. Claim there are multiple versions of people across. Oh yeah, obviously. Again, this is just, yeah. Got my stuff. Could turn the radio on. Oh! Yeah, go on, let's listen. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Oh, it's Tom! Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, Mac. 
Yeah, I remember Tom. Sam Green. Ah. Man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Oh. Damn crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green. He knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well. There'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Yeah. Like something out of a movie. I think that's it. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Let's see what this is. Is, oh, is this all the script? Yeah, this must be the script. No more edits. Let's go film. There is good light. So uh, this film, the shot. I can't believe Mom's finally getting out. I can't wait. Mom will be home Sunday, Bon. Hey, nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go talk to Linda. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Concerned, her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. Should I be worried about Robert? Don't be insecure. Let's be Frank Stone. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but, you know, those victims could have been any of us, or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. Wow. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Is she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris... I told Chris about it last night. Oh, okay. She was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect. Uh oh. And I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. They shouldn't have wasted all this time. Oh, encouraging or disapproving? Let's, well, we'll be encouraging. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. It's very supportive of you. Thanks, Robert. I mean, Jaime, sorry. Forgot which one of you is the supportive one. That was mean. Uh, yeah, mean. that was. Yes. That was mean. Yes, I am. Oh! Yes! Huh? What is. It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Right. Oh, Bonnie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding dongs working on? Oh, she knows. Oh. She's gonna find out. Interesting. Go on, Bonnie. Go after them. I want to know more about Bonnie. I really want to know more about her. Cause she seems like an interesting character. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. <gasps> yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. Okay. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. 
Da. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. I'm going back into the mill. I appreciated the um, DVD theme. Da. All right. Do, this way. Do, do, do. I'm playing Chris. Oh, hi, May. All right, here we are. Find the entrance into the storm drain. Okay. We just squeeze through here. Let's go. You know, there hasn't been a lot of scares in this game. I I'm guessing we're gonna see the place where Franks don't actually kill people. Freaking wild. Well, this is all your idea, Chris. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in. But it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. Ooh. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad. But it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. Yeah. So, which way? And it's all on me. Climb, cross. See, the, the cross one, uh, I can't look. The cross one looks a bit dangerous. If we climb, we might be spotted by Robert's dad, Sam. And it'll take a bit longer to get there. We'll cross. We'll cross. I'm, I'm making, I'm probably making a bad choice here, but we'll cross. A distance between us and the log. No offense. Hey. I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Right, hang on, I need to keep hold of this in case. Skill checks. No, okay. All right, so I thought it was going to be really dangerous, and I had to hit skill checks then, but no, guess not. Your Would have preferred really that. patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but hmm. it's just kind of his thing. Let's see. Nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling Crouch. my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. It had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could be oh. the title for... Oh, we being watched. Uh, other movie? Yeah, we are. We're being watched. Someone else is here. That's not Sam. We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, Whoa, what the hell? You right there, Chris? Movie at a time. Totally, yeah. You guys saw Chris step way back then. Okay. Uh-oh. Press X, start crossing, use the... Okay. Oh, 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 those, I, I, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate it, I hate it, hate it, hate, 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 there we go, oh, plunderers, ah, ha, 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 I would very much like my add-on, she, she just did, that wasn't me, she just did it again, okay, Chris Gordon, Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And crap. Oh. Oh. We did it! Nice, 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 nice. Let's see. What is it this time? Hello. Tattooed middle finger. She tells me I must not doubt what I dream of. Hell yeah. That's an add-on for the clown, by the way. That's a pink add-on for the clown. Clown is, again, a killer in Dead by Daylight. There we go. He's not one of my favorites. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Clown. Don't like him. Don't like him that much. I mean, he's not the worst killer in DVD, but 
He's not the best. There are worse killers than Clown. Here we go. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. You tell me. Oh, what the hell was that? Sound like screaming then. I don't know if I'm crazy or. Oh, if we climb up here, there is um. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> hey, man just gave Thanks. us a Brought one for everyone? beamer. What you got in there? Ah, well... The flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, Yo, is that the pallet? It, bars, that's a pallet from Dead by Daylight? First aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know First aid we're kit. Making the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> nice, Robert. Nice. Who is following us? Find a way into the mill. Okay. So what, we're in like the sewers or something? Underneath the mill? Looks like it, yeah. Ooh. Dark down here. Glad we that Robert brought these flashlights. Must be under the mill by now. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. This? Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that? Night? Beware what the night, night watchman. The Who night he was are here you? With Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time. This way, fellow traveler. When I was little, and he was really drunk. Oh, God. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. Let's squeeze through here. I want to see if there's anything. Don't want to miss anything. What's this? Oh, it's Wraith! Who would have left this here? The spectre that stalks the fog. Ah, oh, I found Wraith! Good old Wraith. Wraithy boy. Wraith's a mate. Yeah, uh, the Wraith is, uh, for people that don't know, again, also another killer in Dead by Daylight. He's not one of my favorites, but I do like him. I do like Wraith. It's not the thing with Cloud. I missed one. Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god, I missed one. That's not good. Oh no, I missed one. Shit. Great. Okay, well, I'll have to go back to chapter four and get that. I'm annoyed. I am annoyed. Wait. Oh, is that the way we're supposed to go? Well then, what's through here? Door. Oh. What is this place? Where have I ended up? I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pulled a director card, she'd probably never talk to me again. Huh. Well, okay. Oh! Casting, sh casting sheds. Okay, well, we got a key. More like a broken key. Get back to Robert. Yeah, let's go. Thing. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pulled a director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. You just said that. You literally just said that, Chris. What was I just... Oh, right. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. Oh... He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked Joda that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. 
He told me he and Frankstone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. They did. The furnished chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. What, that he's angry or something? Seem like that. Yeah, well, if you don't want to see him like that, you, you guys probably shouldn't have came here to begin with. You know what I mean? You don't want to disobey his orders or something. Can I slide down here? No, I actually have to take the stairs. Well, that's a bit crap. Oh, God. Uh, anything up here? No, nothing. So what was the point of coming down here, then? Yeah, what what actually was the point of coming down here? There's nothing. Because I can't go through that door. Can I move that pallet? No. Can't go through that door. What the ever-living hell was the point of coming down here, then? All right, let's get back. What was I just... Oh, right. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Does he, though? Okay. As long as he thinks he does, then good. I think... I think it's just the thing with him, like, if he mentions Cedar Mills, then he's not supposed to. As long as he doesn't mention Cedar Hills, then he's fine. You know what I mean? Nearly there. Who, who writes these on the wall? Like, seriously, who writes all this? Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the director. Wait. It's in your blood. Lush. And your blood? Chance you to be turn a back. Dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies, especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's hard. What's that say? Last chance to... Yeah, last chance to turn back. Yeah, there's all these warning signs about Cedar Mills. What if Sam was the one that put these here? Anything over here? Oh, I remember this, yeah. This is at the, like, the beginning of the game. Yeah, I remember this place. Where's Linda? May I ask, where is she? Where is she? Did she just get le left behind or something? Down here? Hmm? Under the flashlight. <gasps> Wait! A broken flashlight? Thing. <gasps> Wait, that's the flashlight! Busted. Yeah, that's the flashlight that... Sam used when he was hunting down Frank Stern. This has been covered up. That's, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the way. This is the way from chapter one. When Sam went after Frank Stern. What do I mean? Is it just, no, what's that? I don't know what that is. Just a marking on the wall. Alright, so we go back up this way. Yeah, the gen controls really don't bother me on this game. I think this is it. Up there. Ah, this is your last chance to turn back. Yeah, we go up that way. No point of return. Alright. Well, we will explore uh, Cedar Mills in the next part. Let's see what I got from my collections. We got a new relic. We got the Wraith. Philip Ojima was already a ghost haunted by a childhood of war. Also, Haven Wreckers offers him a new beginning, but familiar pains follows him like a shadow, ready to break his spirit. Now, 
this banshee of suffering stalks the fog striking without remorse fear this apparition of terror fear greatly the wall of its bell for it wails for thee yeah that's that's the wraith that's the wraith blueprints blueprints of a complex machine and the one of augustine's unique collector's items why keep this piece of moving hmm what is she up to augustine old newspaper article an old newspaper article detailing the crimes of frank stone he left a stain of bloodshed that soaked deep into cedar hills before he was finally stopped how could a murderous loner like stone go undetected for so long face of evil sensationalist account of frank stone's capture written by cedar hills own sheriff lloyd sorry for that voice break with so much going unnoticed under the sheriff's watch how could he be so certain the case ended with stone maybe it just begun maybe it just started oh yeah i just got the article of the omniverse yeah that's about it sam ah oh. Damn. Sam doesn't really approve of Chris. Oh yeah, look, the two different timelines. And Linda's here. Okay. So I got the camera fixed. Chose to try to get the camera fixed. Spent some of the group's money on firecrackers. Uh, twenty dollars. Yep, he went to the drugstore. Accepted the storekeeper's valuation of an eight millimeter camera. Blender. Okay, that's about it. Oh. Saving the child from certain death. Yeah. And now twenty twenty four. Linda. Maddie picked up Linda. Yeah. We've already seen these. We've already seen these. I, I was just double checking them. Just double checking them. That's all. All right. I think that's enough for now. I am going to end this here and we'll continue this in the next part. I'm actually a bit. I just want to know more about Augustine and what's going on. These guys are being followed by someone. I don't know who. And Maddie, Linda in 2024 are being watched by someone. Oh, and Stan. I forgot about Stan. But yeah, they're all being watched by someone. I don't know who. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens in the next part. So yeah, I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.